Innova's COVID-19 antigen test is used to detect the presence of SARS-CoV-2 proteins through nasal or throat swab specimen collection. The test can be easily used without the need of additional equipment. 20 minutes is all it takes to accurately diagnose an infectious person. Before administering the test, familiarize yourself with the components of the test. Each kit will include instructions, a test cartridge, collection swab, an extraction tube, cap, and buffer bottle. Make sure that all of the items are there. Start by carefully reading the instructions. Prepare a clean extraction tube. Place six drops of solution into the extraction tube. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remove the extraction swab from its packaging, being careful not to touch the head of the swab with your finger or any other surfaces. Insert the swab about one inch into the nostril and roll it around, making 10 complete circles around the interior of the nostril. Repeat the process in the other nostril. Be sure that you swab both nostrils thoroughly. After the sample is collected, fully immerse the swab into the buffer liquid in the extraction tube and rotate it around for at least 15 seconds. As you remove the swab, press it against the sides of the tube, removing as much liquid as possible. Install the nozzle cap onto the extraction tube by pushing it in. Use the test immediately after removing it from its pouch, being careful not to touch the result field. Place two drops into the sample well of the test cartridge. Make sure that drops are delivered into the sample well and not the result field. Sample results may be read only after 20 minutes and should be read no later than 30 minutes after sample addition. If two horizontal lines appear in both the C and T regions, then the result is positive. Even if the T line is faint, it should still be interpreted as a positive result. If only the control line, the C line, appears, then the result is negative. The control line indicates a valid result and should always be present. If it isn't, then the test is invalid. Repeat the test with a new test cassette. 